Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Red Code after a long time. So already we have um, learned the playwright with Cucumber BDD series. Um, now we are going to start the second version of that. So there are few uh, problems are there in our existing the BDD framework and also uh, we are going to implement few of the new features as well okay so let's get start with the first very problem is how to pass the um, command line argument for example if you go to this our uh, what is this the configuration file right the json file cucumber.json file so here we cannot write any kind of conditional statement for example sometimes i want to run uh, run the tags of at test sometime i want to run the smoke sanity regression like that i want to trigger so if my files are there and if i cannot pass it from my command line argument that means your terminal then of course each and every time i have to come to this particular place and i have to do the changes right so if it's in your local machine that's absolutely fine but if it's in your uh, let's say in your pipeline where you don't want to do the git push each and every time rather you can just pass the argument and based on the argument it's going to work that will be really nice right so not only for tags we can do it for any other features as well for example if you want to do it for your uh, headless configuration if you want to trigger based on your uh, browser name of course you can do all those things okay so for that of course we should not use the uh, json file json file is like your static data we cannot make it dynamic so we are going to create a new config file everything is going to very same only the file type is going to change from json to the js file why not ts because ts cannot run of its own ts eventually will convert into js and from js it will run so it will make sense to create the directly the json file so here we have a folder called config this is the new folder config file and within that i'm going to make a file called cucumber.js okay please make sure the file name should be cucumber.js because these are like your pre-configured so the test runner will look for this particular file name okay it can be different also but we have to pass that if you are not going to pass that in the argument we can use this as it is okay then i'm going to copy everything from my json file and i'm going to my um, js file and here first of all we have to say like uh, module dot export i believe yeah module dot export and within this just paste everything okay now a few other changes of course we are going to remove this curly braces here and at the last one curly braces okay so that's it we are pretty much done with this this is particular uh, configuration is it will work fine good thing but usually like this should be your key where it should be like key type not the your uh, string it can be string also doesn't matter but just to for some uh, kind of like a pretty look i am going to remove this so uh, one shortcut i will tell you so you can just uh, select this the double quotes and the colon you can select this use ctrl d select each and every places give like um, backspace i guess yeah backspace and then you can give the colon click on your home and click on delete okay so then save that's it okay so basically like we just remove the uh, double quotes everywhere okay so it's your default configuration and here we have our rerun configuration i hope you remember all the same so this is my default and this is my rerun configuration the same thing here but we just uh, use the model.export since of course it's a java script file okay and one more thing we are going to change is basically the tags so here if i say at the red test that means if i go to my feature files so here not step the feature files if you go to that to cart here you can say like i have a tag called fail and here i have no tag and here i have a tag called test so when i say tags equal to at test that means it's going to trigger only this particular test it's not going to trigger any other test right so instead of this i want to get it from my command line argument you have to say like process then followed by uh, env then followed by the underscore unders, underscore config underscore okay and here i will give my uh, user defined variable name. for example this is my tags so i have given tags as a uppercase right that's it we are pretty much done now when we pass the 
tags from the terminal it will it is going to work if i don't pass anything then it should run all the test so how to do it is very simple we'll use the double pipe symbol and here we'll give like blank one the blank string that means all the tags now if i go to my uh, package.json if i give control p and if i go to my package.json here we have to do one more thing so already we learned about the cross environment we know how to set the environment it's going to be broad and then we have to say cucumber js we are going to run using the cucumber js and then here we have like dash dash config we are saying where is our config file so if you see this is my config folder and within that i have cucumber.js so i have already given this here so this thing is additional remember you have to give this one and then we have this double pipe true so most of you ask me in the comments like what is the use of this one so basically we have this pre-test which is going to execute before this particular test and then we have this post test which is going to execute after this test completion but if the test is going to fail this post test won't be executed so to avoid that what i have done is i have used this double sim i mean double pipe and true that means even though it's going to pass or fail it is going to execute the post test okay and most of you have another problem also like what are the things i have used here it's not working for some of you the reason is basically i use the git bash so if you are going to uh, use like default command prompt it should work most of the cases but in sometimes few of the things are very specific to unix command which won't work in your default windows command prompt either you can go with the uh, another one is there from windows powershell you can go with the powershell or just go with the git bash that is really good actually that is what i use most of the time okay so if you give control j that will bring up your terminal in your case it might be your uh, windows command prompt or the powershell so if you go here and here you can see like uh, like if you click on this uh, this arrow icon and then you can select like git bash it will launch the new git bash terminal for you okay so first of all here i'm going to say like npm then followed by run and followed by test so now i haven't passed any of the command line argument for the tags that means it should run all our test let's see that okay. so th totally we have like six scenarios among those three passed and three failed which is unfortunate because i expected only one to um yeah okay uh, this one like okay i did the mistake so just ignore it you can uh, i did something for the demo purpose and it went really wrong which i understood but yeah so basically uh, here we have like six years three pass and three phase okay now i want to run only the uh, this particular uh, why is this the sad to card feature where we have the tag called at test i want to run this particular scenario only so that means only one scenario not the six scenarios okay so how to do it is how to do it is very simple you bring our terminal control j control c control l to clear and then what we can do is we can simply say npm run test then followed by dash dash then followed by uh, tags equal to within double quotes or without double quotes also it should work but if you are passing string use the double quotes at the rate fail that means uh what is this fail or fail let me check uh, it's fail okay so at the rate fail in the sense like it's going to pass that particular tag to my cucumber js, JS file and from the js file it will take the tag and it will execute only that particular tag okay so that means that particular scenario that is how we can pass from the command line argument i hope you understood it it's a very simple concept actually so let me run and show you yeah so you can see like we have like only one scenario as of now and that is failing that's absolutely fine and here we have five steps within that particular scenario okay so yeah that's it pretty cool right so it's not like you can pass only one argument you can pass like multiple argument as well for example if i go to my helper browser browser manager and here we are getting it from the process.environment.browser right so we have to use the process see both are different process.environment in the sense like it will be in your environment which can be used by your uh, github secrets gitlab secrets circle ci secrets all those stuff okay but when i say this 
environment dot config that means it it will take the data from only from the command line argument not from your environment variables both are different both are in different buckets actually okay so both are like different config settings so if you are using config then npm config that means you have to get it from your terminal okay now i don't want to change browser from my environment let's say i want to change it from my um, local terminal itself then very simple again you just do the same you just use the npm config here process dot environment dot yeah npm config underscore browser okay so now uh, let's say that we are going to launch the firefox okay so here i will give the control j the same command then i again i will use uh, uh, not double slash also record i guess so you can just pass like browser equal to the firefox okay i guess double dash is not record again let's see yeah, I didn't execute as expected uh, and it says like please set the proper browser that means our command line argument didn't work properly so what we'll do we'll just add the double dash again okay so double dash browser then followed by equal to firefox yeah now it should work fine so that means you have to use the double dash everywhere okay and yeah similarly you can pass it for like head headless mode you can uh, pass your specific feature file uh, all the stuffs are possible okay yeah see now it's launching launch the firefox browser okay. That's it. I hope you understand. I'm going to wrap this with one more particular scenario. For example, here we have this failure, right? So we have this failure. If I go and open my uh, reports, let's say if I go within the test result. So we have two reports. One is the cucumber report, which is the default cucumber report. So if you go here, you can see like we are getting lots of junk characters, right? So junk characters. Uh, basically doesn't look good right and if you go to the another report the beautiful report with charts and everything in that also we will get all the uh, junk characters okay so how to remove this junk character is basically with the help of a argument called no color so for example if i go to my package.json file and here i can say um no colors i guess no dash colors equal to zero or one I forgot let me check quickly so this question was asked in our youtube comments as well as in our discord community so i don't have the answer so i just created a uh, question in the cucumber git repository and one person replied uh, thanks to him or her sorry i forgot the name yeah, um not this one yeah this one. yeah so it's basically first color equal to zero so if you give this now you can see like without any junk characters you will see so let me just show you that one quickly so in this video we learned about the command line argument you can use the same for any other values as well okay and also we have moved our cucumber.json file to cucumber.json so this cucumber.json is not required anymore i'm just going to uh, let me keep it as a backup i will just rename this as like old underscore config dot json file okay so if you are seeing the git repository you should have a understand but yeah this is not required anymore uh, we are going to use the config and the config cucumber.js file okay so here you can see like our browser launched and it's pretty slow actually yeah so now if you go and see when we say like force color equal to zero that means your terminal will become like black and white that is the only thing i noticed like here uh, there's no color at all so even if it's pass or fail it's just black and white but of course you can go to the reporter and you can check always so okay it's not working i have to open this again yeah 
yeah so now if you go to the error message it will be pretty neat so you won't get any kind of uh, junk characters okay so yeah that's it for this video i hope you have learned these things newly if so do let me know in the comments and in the next video we'll learn few of the other concepts like how to handle the storage state for different users Ta-da! see you